Lesson one, day one. What we're going to talk about is the subject of this course, and that's the Arduino. So this is the one that we're going to be most familiar with. But in actual fact, this is the Arduino. It's the 18 mega chip. That's it, it's the 18 mega. 3 to 8. 80 mega, 3 to 8. And when we talk about pins, we're going to be talking about input and output pins. They literally look like pins. <laughs> and they are connected to power, they're connected to data. Uh, one of them is a reset pin and this is what we're actually programming and you can see on our board here where it lives. Now we're going to be programming it by USB. So we program using this big chunky USB cable and that's usually one of the first things that people have a problem with when they buy from AliExpress or they buy from eBay and they get a clone. Usually the board's pretty good as long as you don't get it too hot and don't drive too much current through it. As you can see this is the official one and you can see it's all nice and neat at the back and the, the printing is very nice and neat. But the point of failure can often be the USB cable and one of the major reasons is you see this USB cable, it's only intended for power. It's not actually intended for data. So get a good USB cable. So we've, we've introduced the Arduino Uno, and we'll go into detail in a second. But what other Arduinos can you get? Well, this is a one that's especially for wearables, called the Stitch Kit. And it's especially for driving lots of LEDs, as you can see, it's got these cables coming off here for LED strips. And it can run a lot of power and current through it. And it's got a Grove connector, and Grove connectors make it easy to add sensors and uh, other things to it. But still, that little square chip there, that's still an 80 mega. This is the big brother to the Uno, and it's the Mega 2560. And instead of an 80 Mega 328, it has on here, if you, if you get it the right way around, 80 Mega 328. So you can see these type are soldered on. So they're meant for manufacturers, they're not meant for human beings to solder like us. So what others are there? Well, these are little guys. You'll see there's no USB on this one. And to program it, we use a FTDI adapter like this. So it's got pins at the end here. We wire it up with these pins. We can program it. Whereas the Nano is also small, but it has USB. And they're very, very cheap. In fact, you can often get these guys with all the power management and everything for cheaper than the raw chip because we don't buy these in enough quantity to bring the price down. And you can get these on AliExpress and eBay. There's specialist ones, and I, I collect them, so I've got too many. But these are the Wi-Fi enabled ESP8266 and ESP32. And these are fantastic. You can do internet stuff over them. They still have input and output pins, obviously not as many as the ones that we showed earlier, 
but they've got USB power management and they're also very cheap, you can get them for a few dollars. This is the Light Blue Bean and it has built in Bluetooth. And again, it's got a couple of growth connectors for easily adding sensors and stuff. But that can run off a battery and be powered by Bluetooth. So that's pretty neat. This runs over the cell network. So this is the particle electron and it actually takes a SIM card to run it over the cell network. And there's also a Wi-Fi version that's intended for the Internet of Things. It's got a really nice amount of uh, software support and tools to make it easy to run something over the internet but also connect to things like IFTTT and there's another Wi-Fi enabled one it's called the Oak so lots of choices there but what do we do with Arduino? Well, this is a nano running uh, laser. This is a tiny little laser CNC. This is a CNC board and a UNO for a CNC mill. So the shield just sits on top there onto the Venuno and this is a relay which we'll look at later in the course as well for running the actual mill itself. And here we have a whole bunch of 3D printer boards and so that's one from uh, Creality CR10. That's a printer board, printer bot. MKS Gen. And you might be able to see on the back there where I've got a place for the things like the hot end, etc. So our Dewey knows aren't just about blinking lights, running motors. They actually do a serious job.